Hello everyone and welcome to Writing Behavior Rules for Fluency. This episode will show you a simple rule for alerting on outbound SSH connections. So let's get started. I've got a rule here that I have written with the purpose of detecting any outbound SSH connections from the network with some exclusion lists. So let's start off with a name since this is flow based we're going to call it flow underscore outbound SSH. Description, give it a description that will help you better define it if there are similarly named rules out there. Bucket category, this is network. Tags, I've put in SSH, but you can put in whatever you need to find it. The event type is Metaflow, not event. Search profile, if you have a facet that you wish this to show up under, then you can choose it here or leave it blank. Ensure that match all is unchecked. We do not want to match all traffic. The specific traffic that we want to match against is in the query. Destination port 22 and source port 1024 to 65,535. That pretty much excludes the privileged ports but includes everything else. So additional filters to narrow it down more. The source IP must hit our list, home net. Home net is an any info item defined with all of the network ranges inside our organization. Destination port must not hit our list for home net, meaning the destination must be outside while the source needs to be inside, or the SSH destination allow list, which is a white list of safe SSH servers external to the organization that anybody can connect into. Finally, the source IP must not hit anything on the source allow list. This is our white list for machines that do need SSH access specifically, so they will be excluded from the alarm. So let's go down here. In the next section, you will want to select behavior. Give it a name, typically the same as you gave it above. The type of behavior is network access. The key that this is going to trigger on is the source IP. That is the one that we want to know connecting to an outside destination, possibly without authorization. Key type, IP. Now down here in the attributes section, you typically want to add any attributes that will help you identify surrounding information of this alert without digging too far into it. This will be stuff that will show up on the top. So I've added source IP, destination IP, destination country, destination city, transmitted bytes, and received bytes. And then put a description on here that gives me a summary of several of those points of information. Finally, we get to the correlation rule, the meat and potatoes of the whole behavior. I've named it new outbound SSH detection. The fields that it's going to trigger on are destination IP. So when it sees a new destination IP from that source, it's going to trigger this correlation rule. 10. Is the window size, 10 days, it is for the machine learning aspect of it to learn your current behavior. And then the risk that we want to send up the chain, ML new IP, which is machine learning new IP. And there you have it. There's your outbound SSH rule.